right, welcome everybody to another episode of the final credits. I'm your host today, Johnny64. Today we are talking about news you probably have heard. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of it, but as you all probably know, Jonathan Majors is in a bit of a tizzy at the moment. Um, you know, as you, you may know him from Creed 3, Ant Man as Kang the Conqueror, uh, a bunch of other movies that he has been in, um, and uh, uh, Lovecraft from uh, HBO. Um, so, like I said, you know, basically right now he's in a little bit of trouble, a little bit of back and forth. Um, you know, taking a look at this, you know, you have to wonder what this means for, you know, studios like Marvel that, you know, signed on to him and other situations like, like, uh, you know, his, like, you know, Ezra Miller with DC, him with uh, Marvel that signed these guys on for years at a time. And then they have a whole plan for them. And then things arise with these actors mm -hmm. and, you know, their whole future is up in the air. I I don't want to say I feel for guys like Kevin Feige, but you you have to imagine his hair is probably getting ripped out on the daily right now. Uh, you know, just the the, the PR, uh, you know, not even the PR nightmare, but like just even because they're in they're in that this weird window right now that you know the, his, his, his Major's allegations aren't official yet. Like he hasn't been you know found guilty of charged anything, with obviously. Him. He's yeah, well, he, he was charged, but he hasn't been found guilty. There hasn't been a trial yet, right. or anything like that. So, everything's still in that weird window where you know, we you know, I think Disney and Marvel are just looking at every little detail of what's going on, they don't know what to do yet, and they are you know, they just want to tread this minefield as carefully as possible. Because, on the one hand, this is a guy that they are investing in heavily. This is, you know, for, for them, he is the next Thanos. He's the next Josh Brolin. It's, he's the next 10-year plan. Maybe not 10 years, but he's the next, you know, multi-phase. Uh, he's the next you know, big phase. bad. Exactly. Honestly. And, well, you know, we, we see, you know, like I said, between him and, you know, Ezra Miller, we saw this with uh, Gina Carano for the Star Wars franchise, um, you know, yeah. like that, what happened to her. It's just, you know, we, we tend to see this problem where, you know, we get used to these actors as these characters and then shit hits the fan for whatever reason. And then we, we, the viewers have to deal with the fallout. We have to deal with the inconsistencies. We have to deal with the needless drama that spins around all of this. So what do you guys think of this? Like, like in terms of... Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program, we were just about to hear from Spade his uh, his opinions and thoughts on, on this situation with uh, not not just Jonathan Majors, but you know this these types of situations as a whole that we were just talking about. So okay, take it away, so Spade. Here, here's my here's my here's my wisdom. Ready? Oh boy! I think I think everyone, and by everyone I mean the fans, are what push the studios to do rash things. Because what do the fans do? Automatically, they see something, they hear Mention something complaint. without knowing the facts. And what do they do? Cancel culture. Yeah. And then Mention what happens? Complaint. The yeah. studios automatically say, hey, you know what? We will look bad if we don't do something mm -hmm. before they cancel him or her or it or whatever, okay? So I think, look, I, I don't believe in cancel culture and there were some comments in our previous video with the Justin Roiland thing saying that we were for cancel culture. I don't believe anyone here is for cancel culture, okay? Anyone on this panel right now does not believe in cancel culture. At the same time, though, I think people have a different view on what cancel culture is. Cancel culture is not a business that is telling you I'm going to fire you for X, Y, and Z reason because of breach of contract. That's not cancel culture. That's a business telling you, hey, you fucked up. And this is what's the, the you know, the cause to your fucking up. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, though, all these people are like, oh, but that's cancel culture. It's not. That's a business that doesn't want to lose millions of dollars trying to fix your mess up. So at the same time, though, you got all these other people that are like, we should cancel him. We should cancel him. How come nobody canceled Ezra Miller? Ezra Miller should have been the first person to get canceled, but we didn't do that. So what I think is, I think we should all calm down and wait and see what happens at the trial and see what they say about this person and that person. Ezra Miller is what? He's still the big star in a movie that's coming out. 
I don't even, I, it's been canceled so many times and the dates have changed so many times. We don't even know when it's coming out anymore. But the point is. Well, Spade, if I may for a hot second. It. If I may for a hot second. We have essentially, I, I can't think of any person that is still rooting for Ezra Miller at this point. No, we, you'd be as, stupid to no, do no, that. No. We, as the community, as the fandom, do not want him. He's done to us. He's dead to us. The only reason why he's still here is because of Warner Brothers. Right. That is which, one studio. And which, I'm not which, saying they handled that wrong. Like that. Yes, they, they handled did. it wrong from day one. Yes, Very did. wrong. Very and wrong. And I feel and I feel because because Warner Brothers handled that wrong automatically every other studio is like well we don't want another ezra miller situation well, so let's just start firing people no, i mean let, let's first be of fair, all we don't know that majors was fired let's, let's we don't know that let's be fair no one tells the mouse what to do <laughs> let's <laughs> well, be completely honest the governor tried the governor of florida tried to tell him and he got shot down so uh -huh. <laughs> pretty That's much another story yeah, oh. you know, I mean, it, it comes down to money at the end of the day, right? I mean, like I said, like these are studios that invest, these aren't just one off movies. They are investing, you know, multi years. Yeah, like multi year, multi film contracts, you know, with these actors. And in, you know, Major's case, you know, like I said, he was supposed to be the next Thanos, the next big bad. He's, he's the, the end all be all to the next like few phases of the MCU. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at the, it, it, right at the very beginning of it. And already there's just a big wall to just get past. And I think, you know, Disney's looking at this and said, we already invested all this money in him already. You know, we had him in Loki. We had him in Ant-Man. Uh, you know, we already, I think they already shot Loki season two with him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there, there's, there's supposed to be more to come. So, you know, the question with them is, they, there's, a, there's a huge balancing act with, you know, how to handle the situation how to handle their investors and how to handle the fans, right? Because if you, you know, if you if you do knee jerk, and this kind of ties into what Spade said, if you do break towards cancel culture and just, you know, say we can't risk anything, we need to, you know, get somebody else on for Kang. And, you know, what will the blowback from fans be like? Because, you know, people, you know, the viewers are themselves invested in him as a character. So, right. you know, it's, but this, yeah, go ahead, Pancakes. For the, short term, for the short term, it's going to be a wait and see approach. Um, with Ant Man going to streaming on Disney Plus or any Bluetooth or DVD, they're not going to promote Jonathan Major's character, even though he's the new big bad in the foundation of the next phase. And um, we're seeing that Loki. already. We're already seeing the Loki. There, there are promotions where you don't see him, but you just see like Ant Man and mm -hmm. the Wasp, but no. True, fans. true. We saw that on, mm -hmm. I think we saw that on one post. And then with Loki coming up, then the, any footage, as long as this case is ongoing for the foreseeable future, they're not going to promote him or show the footage like they did with the uh, an after credit scene leading into Loki season two. They're, they're going to take all that out of the, the the promotion of Jonathan Majors as the king character, at least for now. They're definitely taking a wait and see approach. Uh, eventually they got to have to make that big decision, see how the case plays out. But for now, like I was saying, they're not going to promote him with Ezra to go back to Ezra Miller, at least the silver lining for the WB and DC is that he's done finito after this movie. That and I true. think the whole, and he's not going to, uh, once we get closer to the release date, I think they're going to rely on, the other big time actors like Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton, the other big players in the movie to promote the flash movie. I don't think Ezra Miller is going to be doing any interviews, nope. even though he's the central character. Um, but you getting know what? Back to Time will tell with that. Cause WB uh, be handling shit. Cray cray. Wait. Yeah. But you know what? You're right. They'd be handling things. Cray cray. But mm -hmm. here's the situation. Ready? They handled the situation with Johnny Depp the wrong way. And what did they do with Ezra? They did the complete opposite of what they did with Depp. With Depp, automatic firing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And with yeah. Ezra Miller, oh, let's wait a little bit and see yeah. what happens. Which... But he just kept messing up and messing up and messing up.
Yep. So now it's like, well, what are we supposed to do now? Disney, on the other hand, they did the same exact thing almost, if you think about it. Because with Gina Carano, what did they do? Almost oh. immediately. Yep. Goodbye. Instantly. And then what did they do with well, Jonathan well, Majors? With, with her b- behind the scenes with Gina Carano, they uh, apparently they did warn her. Yes. She, like her issue was just the stuff that she was like saying online. They were like, right. they told her to retract her statement, but she didn't. And yeah, and then that like eventually she just you know she did the thing that you know was the straw like you know the last straw on the camel's back, and then that's what happened to her. And with you know, I, I think it, it's a similar but almost opposite situation to um, to Jonathan Majors because like with them, they had warnings. He just you know he did a, an act, he committed an act apparently allegedly that you know if you do it, then that's you know. You, you, you're going to get what you're asking for at that point. Again, it's it, it, he hasn't been found guilty or anything like that. But you know, it's 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 being warned versus you know you're you're getting built up on a pedestal and then you do something to just really like take it down. And then now the studio has to pick up the pieces and figure out the best way to you know a move forward and b you know figure out like how like what they're, what they're going to do with their investments on this. Um, and end of the day, like I said, it comes down to how we, the viewers, uh, you know, end up taking it. Like, you know, if right. we have to deal with a recasting or some, you know, a reshoot or something like that, like who knows what they're maybe going to do with Loki two, um, you know, season two, who knows? But, you know, I think end of the day, it's something that the, I think the viewers start need to start questioning, you know, Hey, if you're going to start investing this much into, you know, characters to use for these, you know, widely spanned uh, universal uh, movie series, um, you need to cross your T's and dot your I's on everybody you cast because if something goes wrong, then it's going to really trip up you know, you know, the plan right. that you have. Look, look at oh, Roman. Roman got fired and then no. he, and then what? Hang Everything on. was dropped Guys, and now he's mm-hmm. got no here's, job. Here's the deal now, okay? Uh, I'm going to put my uh, two cents into this. And I understand that these are two completely different fandoms if you want to call it two different uh completely like sets of fans but the i feel kind of numb to this because i've gone through this multiple times already (laughs) i'm not going to speak for pancakes but i'm sure he has as well because pancakes and i are wrestling fans now when i mean by that (laughs) what i mean by that is you have wrestlers who are booked for long-term booking, whether they're supposed to win the title, lose the title, whatever, and something happens. A DWI. They got caught with fucking uh, with drugs. They get an injury. Things unfortunately happen, and I'm not condoning these things at all, but things unfortunately happen, and guess what? Sometimes, no matter how good this person is, you have to rewrite them off. Yeah. Sometimes mm. it works. Sometimes it doesn't. In this case, could we be looking at a recasting? Don't know. If it does, like I said, I'll be completely honest. I've seen it before. I will continue to see it again. I feel terrible for everyone else who had their hopes on it because we've said it multiple times this was supposed to be his year yeah and unfortunately very much so shit yeah. happens shit hit the fan on this one it's sprayed everywhere and everyone's getting rained on and it sucks yeah. but it kind of yeah. is what it is and, and with um, him i think it's like it, it, it hits a little bit harder because i feel like like you said everybody was seeing him as like that next big thing in hollywood and yeah. they saw him as a genuine guy i definitely did yeah, and you know it's just it, no matter what happens, like with the, the you know the, the situation as a whole, what comes out of it, it's just it's just disappointing when these things happen. You know, mm-hmm. it's just like oh, like I have to see him in this possible light, like when I thought you know something else of him, and you know with any actor that this happens to, it's just always like a you know it's a sad situation. That's really I forget the movie that we saw in theaters, but we saw trailers of him for like yeah. two or three different movies this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like. This guy was going to be the next big thing. Like, holy crap. Yeah, he got big in Lovecraft County. He can be. 
Yeah, you, you I got hope big so. Lovecraft, well, Lovecraft he's still, County, Loki, Devotion, Ant Man, right. Creed, all within he, a matter of like over. Like he he a still could years. be the thing. Just, he could still be the next best next big thing. But the problem is that he's not unless these charges get dropped, or even if he does get charged for it, then we all forget about it because yeah. Look, in the time of the internet, you can't forget something somebody did. Mm -hmm. 20 years ago, no. back in the 90s and the no. early 2000s, no. you did something, and within a month, it's forgotten. Nobody knows to about it anymore. But, well, not that nobody knows about it. Nobody cares anymore. Today, but, it's constantly in our faces. It's in our eyes. We see it all the time. You could be scrolling on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, anywhere, and people will always keep bringing it up. And, and the fact that you keep bringing it up is just always going to make people remember it. And they're going to be like, well, I don't like this person because he did this. But did you know that it was updated and that he didn't do anything anymore? Oh, well, whatever. I didn't see that. And, you know, it is what it is. I don't like him anymore. I'm not going to go watch that movie. Spade, I yeah. love your nerdy voice. <laughs> um, uh, but honestly, up. though, yes, I agree with everything Spade just said. But at the same time, some people do love a redemption story. Of course. Look of at course. Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. is... Rocky, Downey the Jr. biggest is, movies. We're not that, even talking... I'm not even talking about a story. I'm talking about a real-life person. Look at Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. yeah. Messed that would be up, the best and case. came back to be the godfather of the MCU. Right. The that MCU would be the best was case the year scenario. Of him. Absolutely. No, that would... I, I'm, I'm hoping that that would... You know that would be the, the best case scenario for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I would hope that happens for him. Um, but yeah, uh, unless anybody has anything else to add to this, um, I guess I guess I got, lengthy I got one oh, more. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I got one more thing. Last shot. Recast, <laughs> recasting from Marvel is nothing new. We've seen it before, but that was over a money dispute. That was over an actor not wanting to come back. So this is the first big instinct where it's very nerve-wracking because of uh, something serious but look at james gunn he uh he got fired by marvel and disney yeah true w wb picked them picked them back up but uh -huh. eventually kevin faye and company opened the doors to him he's gonna get to finish out his story with the guardians 3 movie that's coming out soon well, Feige never so, fired him marvel fired him yeah marvel different. fired him or rather disney um, fired him regardless though i get what pancakes is uh putting down yeah like, well, if we see Terrence Howard as Kang in the next movie that features him. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, no, no. It's the multiverse. Not, Anything can happen. Why no, not? No, no. <laughs> on, on that note, before I get on that 45-minute rant, those were our thoughts on the current situation with, with Jonathan Majors. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. And while you're down there, of course, ring that bell, subscribe to us, give us a like. We love all that stuff. Until next time, we out. Roll credit. Roll credit. Roll credit. Roll credit.